I'm Miss Cheryl. Let's learn about squirrels today in story time. We're going to have so much fun. I've got two fantastic books to share with you. We'll learn about squirrels and baby squirrels. We also have a virtual visit from Warren Park naturalist Shannon Russell Pennington. She is taking care of some rescued squirrels and we'll get to see them. We're also going to do a song about gray squirrel and about a brown squirrel. Let's get to it. Squirrels. It's a blast off reader. I get to share it thanks to Bellwether Media. Squirrels was written by Derek Zobel. The squirrels are rodents. They live in grasslands, forests, and deserts. Big bushy tails. They help squirrels balance when they climb trees. Squirrels have sharp claws. Claws help squirrels grip the trees. Can you see the claws right on the end of the little, their little toes? Squirrels have four teeth and their teeth never stop growing. So look, here's a close up of their teeth. Can you see them? One, two on top and three, four on the bottom. They keep growing longer and longer and longer unless the squirrel chews on something to wear them down, make them a little shorter. Squirrels gnaw on food to wear down their teeth. Look how, look at this. This is a walnut shell. Walnut's very hard. You and I couldn't gnaw on a walnut and crunch through it with our teeth but a squirrel needs to. Squirrels also chew on branches to clean their teeth. Squirrels eat nuts and leaves, insects and fruits. They also eat bark in the winter. I didn't know they ate insects. Look at that, you see what that is? That's an ant. An ant is a kind of insect. I had no idea that squirrels sometimes eat ants and insects. And they have big eyes, big eyes to watch for predators. Do you know what a predator is? A predator is a meat eater. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals or bugs or things to eat. Squirrels have to watch out for those, so they have their big eyes. Squirrels run to their nests or burrows to say, stay safe. Get inside quickly. Okay. See its burrow, its nest, it's going into a hole in the tree. And that's the end of the book, Squirrels. I want to teach you a traditional children's song called Gray Squirrel, Gray Squirrel. Let's start up, let's give a nut to our gray squirrel. And if you have one handy, grab a scarf or something that you could use as a squirrel tail, because there's a little dance and a rhyme that goes with this. You can find gray squirrel, gray squirrel on YouTube and on Apple Music and other streaming services. A lot of children's artists have recorded it. Here's how it goes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your little nose, grab a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Okay, so find something you can use as a tail or just get ready to wiggle in your chair. Let's sing about our brown squirrel next. Okay, let's get the acorn to the brown squirrel. Hold up your paws. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your little nose, put a nut between your toes. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. All right. Good job, everybody. 
Hi everyone, this is Naturalist Shannon with the Warren County Park District, and I wanted to introduce you to some of my rehab squirrels. As a volunteer activity, I help with Nature Nurses Wildlife Rehab, and these are some of the patients that I have. So these are Eastern Gray Squirrels. Look what he's doing, he's gnawing on a stick. Squirrels are rodents, just like rats and mice and guinea pigs and hamsters, and their teeth never stop growing. So it's important for them to always be chewing on things. They like to chew on sticks, and of course they like nuts. And these squirrels have some special vitamin cookies that are helping them grow nice and strong. Look at that tail on the squirrel. The tail is important because it helps the squirrel to balance. So they're excellent climbers. They're excellent jumpers. They can even hang upside down with their very strong feet. And that tail helps them to stay balanced. The tail also keeps them warm in the winter. They use it kind of like a coat or a scarf and they wrap it around themselves. So these are my big squirrels. I have three of them. They look like they're full grown, but they're really kind of like teenager squirrels. So they're still learning how to do things. And then in this cage, I have my baby squirrel. The babies are a few weeks younger, and you can tell they're a little bit smaller. They are just learning how to climb and jump and hang on to things. Aren't they cute? So they have really, really sharp toenails that would help them to cling on to tree bark when they're outside in the wild. So my squirrels are only here for a short time. I keep them for a few weeks, I help them get better, and then we release them back into the wild where they belong. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you're enjoying learning about squirrels. Let's learn about baby squirrels. This book is a blast off reader brought to you by Bellwether Media. And it was written and illustrated by Megan Borgart Spaniol. Baby squirrels are called kits. There are two to eight kits in a litter. Some litters live in leaf nests. The kits curl up inside. Let's see, how many do I see? I see one, two, three. I see four kits in this picture. Other litters grow up in tree holes. The babies peek out into the world. A mom may move their, her kits to keep them safe. She carries them in her mouth. Look at that, there's the mommy, and here's the kit all curled up. Aren't you glad that your mom doesn't carry you in her mouth? Moms, aren't you glad we don't have to do that? Kits stay in their nest for about eight weeks, and then they start to explore outside. Now their tails are long and they're bushy. This helps them balance when they climb. The babies love to play. They wrestle and they chase each other. The kits no longer nurse. They chew on nuts, seeds, and other foods. This kit found a tasty acorn. Crunch away, little squirrel. 